Namaste and welcome. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce to Lokwani a fabulous team, the team of Dinchak, which is a Bollywood band that has been entertaining the Boston and New England area for over 10 years. The band is famous for creating fun music. We have with us here, Jolly Bhatia, who was one of the founders of the band, along with Meenakshi Kulshreshta. The two of them are the lead uh, singers for this uh, band. This is a six member band and they are going to be performing in Watertown on April 24th at 4 p.m. for a fantastic, to support a fantastic cause, which is Ekal Vidyalaya, which runs schools in the remote rural areas and supports a school for just a dollar a day. And I remember the first time I met this wonderful band. This was almost 10 years ago or nine years ago at the Park Theater where uh, me and Anil, my husband were doing a little comedy skit and this fabulous band was entertaining the audience with their fabulous music. Welcome to Lokwani, namaste. Thank you Ranjini namaste. Thank you. What a pleasure. So I am really excited about It's Time to Disco. Uh, that's coming up on April 24th. I mean, you know, after all this wonder, you know, beautiful, special two years, everybody is ready to get out and definitely dance the night away. So could you tell us a little bit about the program that's upcoming on April 24th? Well, <laughs> we, we couldn't have uh, said it better than the way you said it, Ranjani ji. Uh, We've been all indoors in our cocoons for about two years now. Um, we did halt our band practice for a little less than a year uh, at the start of the pandemic. Uh, and since then, we've been working on a lot of music, looking forward to what we could do when we come out of this. Uh, and um, now the opportunity is here. We have um, you know, been working on several songs. The theme was uh, in our minds for uh, more than a year. Uh, and as soon as we came out and partnered with Ekal, I think this was the right time to launch it. So happy, happy to be presenting this exciting, fun, um, dance-based uh, music theme uh, to the audience in uh, in New England. Fantastic. So Meenakshi, are we going to be dancing when you guys sing? Of course. That's that's always a thing that didn't check that we we tend to get people on their toes and we absolutely expect that it is the time to disco. It is the time to disco. <laughs> yep. And uh, actually the, the you know, Meena, Manisha Jain, who was very instrumental in putting this together has asked all of us to bring out our best disco outfits. So that yep. could be a shining sari or a wonderful kurta that really fits in with the theme. So Meenakshi, I'm expecting that that you and the team will also be absolutely in jazz outfit as we are doing this. Uh, this absolutely, movie. absolutely. We are all prepared to dazzle and shine and actually try to create this whole atmosphere of disco, not just on stage, but off stage too, so that everyone feels part of, of what we're trying to do here. Fantastic. And actually, Ekal is having a best dressed couple, best, uh, best dressed man, best dressed woman, all of that that's going to be there. So looking forward to the audience uh, coming to dazzle as well, you know, so. That's, um, now, now that's course, great. Uh, you guys have used your music uh, to support a variety of causes. So what yeah. motivated you to support Akel this time? So we have, like you said, Dichek has done um, a number of shows supporting different, you know, a nonprofit organizations in the past. And Akel has always been special to us and close to our heart. And we've always wanted to do something for Akel. And, um, you know, both Jolly and me and a lot of us in the team come from small towns in India. And um, as a matter of fact, we were recently visiting and what you see in your backdrop was all we saw there. And each time we come across a child who's working at a little tea stall or something, doing something, you know, our heart says, I wish there was an equal thing here. And this kid could get a school, even though there's no schools for miles over there. So this is a huge, you know, Thing that will help our country come out of what we are in. And I think Ekel has made a lot of progress there in that direction. Um, we cannot be more proud to, to be supporting Ekel and being able to do this for Ekel and you know, teaming up with, with, with you guys to you know, one, make Ekel more popular and known 
among the community that they don't know about, but also in general to raise awareness and raise you know funds because the support that ACL requires is so tiny. It's possible for absolutely everybody to to make a difference. You know, you put it very correctly. You know, a dollar a day goes to support a school for thirty yeah. children. Like, yeah, for a dollar, what can you get today? You know, with the rising gas prices, you cannot even, uh, get a gallon of gas anymore. You know, it is one fourth the cost of gallon of gas that can bring um, such power, such energy to children Absolutely. who can get that education. So that is uh, very, very kind of you to think about it that way. And um, really we thank all of our audience uh, who has decided to come uh, to this event. And we thank you for dedicating this show to ACL completely. So um, Jolly, I wanted to ask you, you are the founder of DINCHEK. What does DINCHEK mean? And what was what motivated you to found this band? Yeah, no, that's a great question because it's really close to my heart. So. What motivated me to find the band is, of course, the spirit of fun. You know, the, the idea is to go on stage and make the audience a part of the fun that we are having. We are a group of friends. We started as a group of friends who each one of us is equally passionate about the part we, the role we play in the band and the, and the music we um, collectively produce. Uh, the story goes back about say 11 years ago when I first met um, Sam, uh, Samir Bambani, who, who plays the guitar. And we happened to be from the same college and you know we shared a common interest for, for music and creating a band. And we just met and other people joined us, uh, Sam Rao who's the percussionist. And then slowly one by one, you know, the, the team assembled. Uh, and uh, as you remember, you mentioned nine years ago, um, you were with us at the at the Park Theater show in Rhode Island. That was our first big stage performance. Um, and I'll, uh, I always also like to mention a little bit about how the name came into being. Um, you know, I, I personally like to do a little bit of uh, wordplay. Uh, mm -hmm. So din in Old English means uh, noise, uh, and check is sound. So noise check, sound check. <laughs> That's how we uh, put it together. Uh, and uh, din check has, uh, you know, in in um, it, it, it just has a fun sound to it and you, you can say it it is a little bit like a percussion instrument sound uh, so it has many musical connotations to it so that's that's how uh, we got the name in place uh, we absolutely uh, you know are, are floored by the love that the community has provided us over the past 10 years and uh, uh, we do this for for two reasons we continue to do this for what we get back from the community and what uh, you know, the, the, the sense of association and friendship we have maintained through this amongst the band members uh, over this time. Um, so, you know, again, uh, Dinchek is, is synonymous with, uh, with fun, uh, with, with dance, uh, with peppy music, uh, what we bring uh, to the audience and making them a part of the performance has always been our objective. So looking forward to creating that magic all over again, with Echo. Well, you with a name like Jolly, it's got to be fun, I think. <laughs> so, it's, it's a responsibility, as I say. <laughs> I think so. Your mother named you that for a very, very important reason. You know? So that that's that's a really, really spectacular. I love that. And again, you know, it's so nice that you have a live band. I know that it's not easy to have a live show. So could you tell us a little bit about that, the rehearsal and what it takes and how different that is from like karaoke music, you know, which is a whole another genre, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think um, live band is, is always harder than, than people understand. I think people who are in the band actually get it. It's not just, um, you know, one musician, one singer practicing on a predefined music, but we're defining pretty much everything, the frame of it, what goes into the frame. And, and with practices and rehearsals and combining each other's energies, um, you know, we come up with one song and then we didn't check eyes it, as we call it. We, we try not to do songs as originals. We always try to make it a little fun, make it our, our yeah. own, in our own way, so that you can tell it is our song. It, we, it's, we maintain the authenticity of it, but we still make it a little more, more fun. Um, but 
also the fact that the 16 members that have to always practice together, we all have full-time jobs, we all have everything else in our life that we all have, finding time to rehearse and prepare and do this together is hours and hours and sometimes you know months of work to put this together, let alone even the sound part of it in a show is very complicated with balancing of it. It's not two points, one track and one you know song, it's multiple points and every song needs some adjustment. So it's a little more complicated, it's a little more work and it's a lot more fun because we have our energy to share with the team rather than you know just singing out to, to a track. So, it, it has its positives and it comes with its work. <laughs> so <laughs> of we're, we're course. Of we're course. And, but the, you know, the energy is felt and that's why I think every show is becomes unique when you have a live band playing. Um, and I think that that's really special. By the way, you know, um, even though your show starts at four o'clock, three to four, we actually have a meet and greet time for people so they can have snacks and chai. And so the fun begins early. And then yes. we can go into the auditorium and, uh, you know, this time they're allowing us to take the chai into the auditorium. So that's, let's take that's the chai. Awesome. <laughs> and then, Great uh, idea. And, and I think the community needs it. It's been a long time. Everyone has had a social break. So I think it's a great idea. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. And even they have an open bar there. So, I mean, yep. a, a, a cash bar there. So that's yep. something. So lots of fun. I think we are looking forward to that. Yep. Um, and so now just can you give a little glimpse as we conclude this interview of what people can expect in the show? Well, people can definitely expect full foot tapping music right from the beginning. And it's going to really encourage them uh, to get on to um, the dance floor, which is, you know, the stage is actually structured really well. It enables itself uh, for people to come on uh, and start dancing. Uh, and any any first disco song that comes to your mind is going to be on the roster. Wow. So be, be, be prepared for it. Any disco song that you dreamt of from Bollywood um, and, and some from the West too, um, you know, it, it's going to be on the roster. I don't want to give away too much, uh, but there is... Uh, there's fun, musty dance, there's disco, there's uh, a little bit of romance, there's, it touches all times and genres and, uh, you know, uh, but keeps the focus on, um, on, on disco as the theme. Mm -hmm. um, so with the lights and the, and the costumes and, and everything, I think we're looking forward to a great time for the audience. Absolutely. Uh, that's fantastic. So we should really encourage everybody to Kisco from their house and yep. get right into their car and then over to the disco, right? And there's not a lot of tickets left now, yes. right? Yeah, so no, no. Really well. yeah right. it's almost sold out. So um, we we'll really urge everybody watching this, please go quickly, <laughs> Kiss go yes. quickly to the web and get right. your disco ticket now. So that's, that's really fantastic. Well, thank you both for, you know, taking the time to put the hard work into making this happen and thank the entire band, entire Dinchek team, uh, really to put this hard work because you know with your sweat and hard work there is education that is coming to the yeah. rural area so we truly, we truly thank you for that and uh, you know nothing better than education right that's what brought us to America that's all we brought there was not dollars in our pocket. It was education that we brought here and uh, to become part of this wonderful country. So thank you both. Thank the whole team to do this. So let's look forward to it's time thank to disco. Absolutely, absolutely. And looking forward to dancing away with you all at the event. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Thank you, Ranjaniji. Bye.